Hi guys, welcome to Rose Equine, and today we're going to do a tutorial on meshing a rug, uh, making a CC, making a, a tutorial about, you know, meshing and getting a tack item into game start to finish. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure you have the latest version of Sims 4 Studio. I am at the version of 3.2.0.8 and we're just going to um, run it from the beginning. So you want to make sure that you're at the page like this. Go to create a 3D mesh, create a sim, pick your species. I'm creating a horse rug and I'm going to scroll all the way down to AH body underscore nude. So once we've done that, I, this is something I created earlier, but the tutorial, it all went wrong. So anyway, so you're going to save your sim 4 package as rug or whatever you're going to call it as. Yes, I'm going to replace that. Now, we will explore all these other areas later, but first let's get into um, editing. So you want to make sure you're on LOD 0. This is a level of detail. Export the mesh. Again, a rug that I did earlier went wrong. So anyway, you will save it as whatever you wish. I've called it to be jointed because we're going to have to work on that later, and I'll show you what I mean by that. And right now it's exporting the mesh. Now, successfully, I'm using Blender 2.70A. Um, that's what they've recommended. Let's see if you're going to add weights and everything. So we're going to open the rug that we've just exported. And for whatever you're creating, it will come to something different. But for me, it's coming up as a full horse like this. Like, look at that beautiful boy. Um, now. So we want to get into editing our rug. We must make sure that we are on Sims for Studio underscore mesh. Make sure that is highlighted. Press A to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to go to the rig and just hide the other stuff. Now, obviously, because I'm creating a rug, there's a lot of these things on the mesh I don't need. So I'm going to control, hold control, left click, drag all across is not just the parts that I just don't need. I'm going to press X and delete vertices. We're going to keep doing that until I have gotten all the bits off him that I wanted. Um, so far, so good. Recording, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, Am I recording? So, th the tail piece now, this is going to come in handy later. So, we're just we're not going to exactly get rid of it, but we are going to rem remove it from our mesh. Oh, with the UVs, by the way, make sure you have both windows open and you want to click on this little thing here called. Keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync. So that way we can control click our entire tail like this. And we're just going to move it out the way somewhere here. There we go. That's a good tail sticking up there. This is going to be used for later. You'll see. So we're going to continue with our war path of getting rid of things that we don't need so half of like his neck needs to come off his head or his body um we need to get rid of the leggy bits and there's just a lot that we're going to just throw in the bin to never look at again don't need it which is fine so <laughs> Why? Now, as you can see, I'm just pressing the simple control left click. Um, it's not really exciting. So I obviously want my rug to um to have the middle part like missing, so that we can add a bit more realism to it. 
What happened there? Oh, it selected parts that I didn't want. That's always fun. Not this again. Don't press Z. Just don't do it if you know it's good for your sanity. Keep doing it. It's really annoying. Or there we go. So now, here is my sneaky trick. I'm gonna select, and you're like, "Oh my god, what about all those other vertices that you're about to select?" Ah, we're going to hold Control Shift into the UV map and be like, "Ha, ah, bye bye, extra vertices I selected." Okay, this tutorial isn't going too fast for some of you. That's the beauty of video that you can. Like, oh my god, why are you just. You talk so fast. Why are you rushing through? You've been doing tutorials as long as I have. An old Farmer John or something, I don't know. Um, right, so we're just going to make sure we get rid of this part. This part here. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. I'm just currently getting this mesh ready for what I want it for. You could make your own rug by following this tutorial. You could very well do that if you wanted to. I have no qualms. Just, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you too can make a rug, if you follow these steps, you also can be a rug person sound like one of those pyramid schemes you can be a billionaire if you follow my five steps to happiness step one buy my book step two keep buying all my books step three look how many books you bought and i'm richer and you're not ah huh. those people that's how they get you right so just going to edit more these vertices. Come on. So painful to do. Oh, that. Oh my word, what I just. <laughs> Don't press buttons. So to select all, I'm pressing A, but to deselect, I'm pressing A. So if you guys are like, what steps is she taking? Don't stress. It's not anything that you worry yourselves about. Um. So again, I'm going to do my cheeky select everything that I want to get rid of and then shift click stuff I don't want to get rid of and hopefully this is just going to theory get rid of stuff that I want to get rid of. Okay, perfect a very open bum bit. These ponies are going to feel the breeze. Da, da, da. You know, you can make a cup of coffee in the meantime, you can make some dinner. You know, watching me just editing all these vertices, you could pretty much build your dream equestrian center. Join us now. Dream equestrian center. don't have to. You can if you want to. Okay. Just. I'm nearly done. It says. Now I'm going to have the bum bit a bit more open because we are going to close up a lot of it. I select something I wasn't supposed to and deleted it. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with. I think that looks even. 